I'm going to start with my rings. I only have three of them. But the first one I have is this blue flowered ring that I got from my mom. The next one I have is this three heart ring that I got for my 16th birthday from one of, how do I explain it? It's from my grandpa's sister, but I call her an aunt because it's my mom's aunt. Last ring I have is this crown ring that I got years and years ago for Christmas. This is from Pandora, but I don't know if Pandora still has this ring or not. Because when I looked it up, I couldn't find it. So I'm going to do all of my bracelets. I mostly just have beaded bracelets because I get bored and I do it. So the first beaded bracelet I have is just this black one. It just looks like this on. The next one I have is this silver or gray beaded bracelet, however you want to say it. And it's just the same as the black one. And then I also have this like lavender pastel purple one. This pinkish purple bracelet. And it just looks like that. I like all these bracelets together because they're all like the same type of beads. And this bracelet it just has these yellow and pink sparkly beads and then i said if you want it i don't know i got bored one day and i was like i want a bracelet that says a cuss word of this blue and gold it's not gold it's blue and yellow but my school colors are blue and gold and i wanted to make something for my school for spirit days so i have something to wear on my spirit days yellow bracelet says believe on it i really like this bracelet and i thought the yellow really went good with the bracelet or believe next one i have is this bracelet right here i don't know what these beads are called but this is supposed to bring out positivity and all this other stuff and it just has this little angel wing on it i got this from my aunt as well for my 17th birthday I made this in my video which was my i think all nighter so it's It'll be right here if you guys want to watch it. It just has these hol blue, blue, purple holographic bead, and then one of those lavender beads, and then just this Queen Alexia. Me and my mom have matching bracelets, but this is mine, and it just has the glitter green, a more of a satin green, and then a normal green. Just me and my friend have matching bracelets, so this one is just a satin like green pink and blue when me and my best friend we have matching bracelets of this and it's just rainbow and it's the glitter beads that i have also have this glitter orange bracelet because i don't know i just wanted an orange bracelet i guess and then this one because i have a pineapple shirt and i was like i don't have any bracelets to match so i just made this satin yellow and green one then the last beaded bracelet i have is this holographic one and then it says dream on it i have this bracelet right here i don't know what to call this chain this chain is like weird see like you go like this and it like bends right there or like this side it's like really wavy if you do it like this it's really fun um but it has this a charm on it for obviously my name and i remember i wanted to get more charms to spell out my whole name it just looks like this on it's just dangling next bracelet i have is this pineapple bracelet it's not linked together right now but it's just this pineapple bracelet um it has like it's not a charm necessarily but it's like attached to the bracelet but it just looks like this and the last bracelet I have is this charm bracelet that I also got from one of my aunts for like Christmas or my birthday or something. And it has this little boot charm, a suitcase. It says Hong Kong, Moscow, London, Norway, Paris, and New York. It has this glove. And then the last charm it has is this little like car type thing. necklace i have is this queen chain i really this chain is really really heavy 
I got it for my 16th birthday for my grandma. And this is what it looks like close up. This layered necklace, the only bad thing I have to say about this necklace is that it's always getting tangled up with all of my other ones. But it looks like this. It has just a ball and then one little long piece right here. And then there's an, the second chain part of it is this long piece. And then this broke, um, but I had to fix it somehow. So this is just another ball piece. This necklace I have is just this gold one and it just has this little um, circle. It doesn't say anything on it. Next one I have is this one right here. It just has these two little chains on them. Is just this one. It has this little gold box on it, or like not a box, a gold rectangle on it. Um, this doesn't say anything either, but I feel like if you would get a custom necklace, it would be a really really cute custom necklace. Like put your name on it or someone else's name on it. have is this one this one is very very long um this one doesn't have a chain but the way you do it is you take this circle part and this long part and you put it through the hole i remember years ago i wanted one of these necklaces but with like a shorter chain moving on i have this cute little heart necklace custom heart one it says my name on here in the little heart and you can open it up a little like lockets or anything my grandma got this for me for my 17th birthday i have this necklace right here it's just this little cubed box that's see-through and it has a diamond in the middle i have this cross necklace and then the chain just looks like this and it has like little beads on it. These next two necklaces are my most recent purchase necklaces that I got and my two favorite necklaces and I always layer them together. I never wear them separately since I have gotten them. I have this one and it is this zodiac one. It's my star sign which is a Taurus. Next favorite necklace is this one right here that says my birth year, which is 2003. I normally take this necklace and put it on the one chain and make it the size that it is. And then I take my zodiac necklace and make it a little bit smaller. So the 2003 necklace is right here and the zodiac necklace ends up right here. It's really cute when I pair it. I also have this necklace right here. It just has this star and then the moon. The star is connected to this chain right here and then the moon is right there. This necklace right here is kind of like the one that I showed earlier with the circle and the loop, but this one actually has a latch on it to connect star and moon one like this star goes inside of the moon like so you can adjust it to your fit when you put it on i also have this star like chain choker necklace it's like one of those aesthetic necklaces so I have this chain, it was a necklace, but the little charm ended up breaking, so I just made it into a chain. The next one I have is this chain right here. The chains just look like this. And then this one was also a necklace, it came with a like dog tag on it but i didn't want the dog tag on it because i ended up putting it on 
my backpack purse. Here's what the jeans look like. Okay, moving on is my earrings. And I have a lot of them. I'm not gonna put on all the earrings because I don't want my ears to go through all that pain of pulling earrings in and pulling it out because I do have a lot of earrings. So I'm just going to put certain earrings, like the ones that I mostly like, into my ears and show you guys them. But the hoops that I wear the most are these ones right here. These ones, I painted them black because I didn't like them purple because I had nothing purple. Silver hoops, they just look like this. They're really sparkly. They're really cute too. I used to wear these every single day. These gold ones, they tarnished really badly. Um, so they kind of look like a brassy, bronzy color. But they used to be gold. Of these. And I have these gold ones right here. Gold pair right here. It has a cool little design on it. I don't know if you can see it. But it has this cool little design on it. The ones I have are these big huge ones that say queen on it. They came with the necklace. They're also the biggest hoops that I do have. These ones are different because they like click in. I never wear these because of how big they are and heavy they are in my ears. Like I literally feel like I'm holding up all of these. And then I also have these hoops. Um, they look like this. I also have another gold pair of hoops. These ones are not tarnished though, um, which is very good. So technically I have a silver, bronze, and a gold type, not a gold. One of the sparkly ones, silver hoops. These ones are a little bit smaller than the rest. Um, but they're cute as well. Gold hoops right here. So a stick right here and then it becomes really flat. So that's these ones and they are this big. I used to have a silver pair, but my silver pair actually ended up breaking, which is pretty sad. Are also some gold hoops. They're just regular dainty little gold hoops. I have two pairs of these. And I have these gold like chain earrings. They actually look like chains, which is pretty cool. I also have them in another gold pair, but these chains are closer together and they're more elegant than the other ones. I have a silver pair of the more elegant ones. There's just a circle and then they hang down low. They're really cute and really good for like a going out or like a date or something really fancy rings right here it's just like a little crescent shaped and it has a little pearl ball at the end of them these really are hard to show but they look like this another pair of gold hoops i have are these ones they're a little bit thicker right here though um but they're small and they also have a really cool design on it. I've worn these before in my Valentine's Day playlist video, my part two one. Um, but I wore these ones in it. They're really, really cute. They have a purple ball at the end and this cool little design. These really like, I don't know how to describe these, but they look like this. It's a circle with the line and the line's like, this for some reason this line that's on this circle is not even with this one so i do not wear them these cool little cute little triangle earrings they look like this and they have three pearls at the bottom i have two pairs of leaf earrings so these ones are my first pair second pair they're kind of like an angel wing type with these ones look like they kind of look more like an angel wing so these ones are a little bit skinnier than the last pair 
also have these cool little 80s earrings so they just hang down right here there's a little ball and they hang down and then it's a little cute little triangle like rectangle earrings hoops they are a whole lot smaller than the rest these are for like babies these are like so small and then i also have two pairs of these earrings as well but they're a smaller gold hoop with a little cuff right here and they're just gold circled earrings it looks like this puffed silver hoops they're skinnier than the gold ones and then my last pair of hoops are these skinny little black ones they used to be light blue but i decided to do them black because i have more black in my closet than i do light blue i'm going to do my stud earrings which are all on here I spaced them all out, easy for me to show. So right here, I just have two pairs of pearl earrings that are just regular pearls. And then right here, I have these circle oval types pearls, but they're not. This one's just like a regular pearl, and this one's like a pinkish pearl color. I got these from my aunt for my 17th birthday. This side right here has the pink pearl earring and this side right here just has the regular pearled earring on it next one down are these little gold earring studs they are really really small and then i have two pairs of these brawn circles i have these sparkly silver hearts Arts. they're really cute for like valentine's day have these gold circled ones tangled diamond earring things these ones right here which are diamonds and then these ones these were my one of my first pairs of earrings that i got when i did get my ears pierced and it's just the letter a for my name these ones right here are a compass earring so it says north south east and west and i have two pairs of the silver ball earrings and then i have these gold heart earrings gold circle earrings that are really puffed up i have two pairs of these small pearl ones this black gemmed one this flowered one and then these like flowered ones as well they just look like pinwheels but they're flowers these pearl earrings right here which have like a shell around them and like rose gold and then pearl these mirror glazed oh, i don't know how to say it i guess like glazed earrings that are gold and then these gold ones are sparkly then i also have a small pair of uh, pearl earrings as well and then these are a glazed black and these are a sparkly black one as well oh. bows um i have a black pair of heart earrings and then these are diamond shaped my holiday earrings these snowflakes right here with a pearl in the middle so i have these snowflakes right here which are regular snowflakes and they have a little tiny gem in the middle these christmas ornament ones christmas trees last pair is these four leaf clover ones that i wore on st patrick's day these ones right here are for my cartilage so i have a gold ball a little diamond um shaped one a square one with a like diamond gem and then three hoop earrings and then two flowered ones this is just a skinnier flower and this flower is like my silver flowers that are up here i also use my earrings for my cartilage as well if it's if i don't have one that doesn't match but i normally use this one right here which is the square diamond one i lose an earring and i definitely cannot find it i automatically make that my cartilage piercing well that was all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed please like and hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell is turned on so you are notified every time i upload i'll see you guys on all next wednesday so peace